Hello, welcome to another Rotterdam White Square video. My name is Thijs, aka the Shaman Painter, and today I will be showing you how to paint up the walls from the Kickstarter exclusive terrain set for the Song of Ice and Fire miniature game produced by Kumin Yarnot. Let's get started. So this will be our final result. A nice brick wall made out of rubble and stones. Um, at the start of the project, uh, this model already comes assembled. So we just have to prime it. I primed it with the Zenithal Highlight again. Um, I did that with black and then uh, sprayed it from above with a white sp spray can. And the first thing I did, I choose three colors and start out with the first one, Doombull Brown. And I started out blocking all the bricks that I want to have in that specific color. So the first part of this tutorial will be mapping. I will be mapping all the bricks that have uh, the reddish color the yellowish color and the grayish color and this is quite a process because we also have to match the brick on the other side of the wall to have the same color tones uh, that normally wouldn't be a really big problem but this brick is falling apart so what you see is that you can clearly see the other part of the wall because of the broken middle part and because of the top and side parts so be careful with this step and take your time so i first blocked in all the the red colors made sure that i um, uh, had them all on the place that i wanted them to be and for this color i used doombull brown from a games workshop um, and i think it's a really nice clay brick classic bit uh, old-fashioned uh, brick uh, color but it really pops uh, on the wall and I think it works really well especially with uh, the two other colors that we're gonna use uh, coming up next so you can either block in the entire color or just dot all the colors uh, in place and then complete it like uh, uh, afterwards so the next color that I use was Steel Legion Drap the more khaki uh, slash uh, yellowish color and what I did I actually uh, blocked in um, uh, first all the colors on one side and then made sure that the other side had the same spots painted in the same color and also made sure that there was enough room for the, the third and final color that will be standard Mechanicus Grey also from Games Workshop all paints are from Games Workshop in this tutorial um, Again, just taking my time, making sure this is all even. You can be a bit more creative with this step by blocking a bit more of the red color on the left side or the right side or mixing it up a bit. Uh, you can add in some variations, maybe a little block with the same colors. You see me, you don't really have to be as careful um, in this step because we're still gonna finish the entire base coat uh, with these colors and we're also going to be doing some washes so that's all nice so this is also the step that you uh, can still correct some colors as you can see here I have three or four blocks that are all gray I didn't really like that so I changed one to uh, the reddish color and made sure it's all uh, all uh, positions uh, in the way that I wanted it to be um, once you finish this step ta -da, you can color in the entire model and you, as you can see here it's quite bright so the first thing we have to do is make sure it's all dry of course and then come in with some Agrax Earthshade we're going to do this uh, quite heavily because we're going to make sure that this uh, fully covers and really brings out the dirt dirty look and also the ruined look uh, of the ruined stone wall. Um, it's still a bit cartoony looking. Uh, as you can see, it's still a bit cartoony looking and very colorful for a brick wall, especially on the battlefield. But that's something we're going to fix in the dry, dry brushing stage. But for now, make sure you don't have a lot of uh, pooling of the wash and make sure it's completely dry. You can probably leave it for uh, an hour or uh, uh, or two to make sure it's completely dry. And then uh, the color that I use was Bainblade Brown. 
have a thick heavy old brush a watercolor brush or something with a bit of a rough uh, bristle and what we're going to do now is dry brush the entire model um, from all directions you can use a couple techniques here because the model is quite square i used uh, i brushed it from one side to another but um, moving your brush in circles also is a really nice way to make sure you reach in all the spots then the second hi highlight will be dry brush with screaming skull or bone color um, same as the last make sure there's uh, not a whole lot of paint anymore on your brush so use a tissue or some uh, toilet paper kitchen towel and now we will start dry brushing from the top down to make sure we only hit the the, the edges of the model and uh, will be a bit more scarce with uh, with the dry brush than the, the last step and because we dry brush with two of the, uh, the, uh, the same colors across the entire model you can really see now that uh, uh, that the model is actually finishing up quite nicely and it's all coherent and one piece to make sure it's it has a bit of a weathering effect we use lupercal green and lesion green and we really water it down almost as if it is an ink or a watercolor as you can see here i demonstrated on the base and we'll make sure we have some algae or some moss or some, or some, uh, some plant residue growing uh, on the bottom parts of the of the wall um, again this is all up to you what you would like to do and then we use uh, some elysian green to you to be used on the same spots as we did the lupercal green but a bit more moderate so really just the the center of the of the wedding weathering patches and this will create a really nice effect because of the red tone in the brickwork and the green those are complementary colors and really works well on this wall so after you finish one two or three of these you have a complete set and you're all ready to go so only one thing left to do Let's finish up the basing, uh, painted the rims, steel legion drap, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing and liking this video, and you can also support us via Patreon, uh, which makes uh, uh, life a whole lot easier and f making these films uh, a lot more worthwhile. Thanks again, and see you next time.